You know, the focus here, Jer, not the snow, but the cold. And places like Buffalo are going to still see that snow as we uh, progress through a good chunk of our uh, holiday weekend. Here's that live look in the capital city as we glance off to the uh, north and west. It is going to be a bone chilling night across the Commonwealth, and numbers are going to really be well below where they should be for this time of December. Super Doppler 8 showing some of those clouds mixed with some stars off to the north. We're still seeing some snow showers, but the bulk of the snow is confined to the Great Lakes up into uh, Canada. Still seeing some heavier rain across the northern Maine as all this continues to work around this strong upper low that is still impacting us as we speak, and it will continue to do so as we head into our Christmas Eve. Now down to two below zero in Lewistown, going to hang pretty steady in terms of our temperatures. May drop off another couple of degrees, but overall, what you see is uh, what you get. We're at five above in York, seven now in Harrisburg, at a six in Lancaster. We have three in Sealands Grove, but the wind that is still cranking out of the west at around uh, 20 miles per hour if not a bit higher, is making it feel more like the teens below zero to nearly 30 below in Lewistown. This cold can cause frostbite in a hurry on exposed skin. It feels like minus 10 in New York, 15 below in Lancaster, minus 14 in Harrisburg. So please bundle up, layer up. It just hurts. I was mentioning going from your car to the parking lot. You still may be doing some last minute things out there or have to run out briefly. You'll need to bundle up even for those uh, small bursts outdoors. We're in the single digits uh, overnight with that sustained wind between 20 and 30 miles per hour with gusts still possibly in excess of 35 miles per hour. It'll lead to wind chills in the minus 10 to minus uh, 20 realm. And I've seen some on my drive back and forth to the station. Most of the main roads are fine, but any water that was standing or was kind of drifting through parking lots is now black ice and still could have some minor power outages. And I mentioned uh, the frostbite as an impact as well. That's why it's an alert period for us. We're back into the uh, single digits above zero. Frigid, windy with that wind chill advisory uh, in effect. It holds into the morning tomorrow. It's slated to expire later on in the morning under a partly sunny sky. It'll look brighter tomorrow. Then we're back into the middle to upper teens. Still an impact period for us with the wind chills near zero, if not a little bit below. There are those uh, wind chill advisories that we have throughout uh, the Susquehanna Valley to the north and west and the deeper shade of blue. Those are wind chill warnings for a uh, worse cold for even more frigid uh, wind chill values. So if you're traveling westbound to visit family and friends for uh, Christmas, you'll want to uh, really take uh, note of that. We do start to improve some as we head throughout late Christmas Eve into our Christmas Day. We're still going to feel really cold out there, but we'll be back above zero in the positive realm, I think, from uh, Christmas morning and beyond, which is uh, a bright spot after feeling so bitter. You can see the wind gusts for our Christmas Eve still going to be above 30 miles per hour for most of the day, but I think they'll begin to calm down some as we head through late tomorrow evening as Santa and his reindeer gear up for his flight around the globe. How about that? News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast shows temperatures back into the upper 20s on Monday. Still below normal and we stay below normal throughout Tuesday and Wednesday. Could have some flurries on Tuesday as a week clipper dives on through Monday night into Tuesday. And then we're already focusing on New Year's weekend. Could have some showers much warmer by uh, this time next weekend there, Chair. <laughs>